the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Went eight and five last year, five and three in the conference. Returning starters, they got six on offense, seven on defense. As far as experience goes, number eighty in the country, number nine in this conference. It's not good. Not uh not great. No. Not not out of a ten team league, no. <laughs> no. Um, head coach Blake Anderson, 39 and 25 in five years. He has taken them to five bowls. Now he is one and four in those bowl games, but we all know that these are yep. games that don't really matter. Yep. Uh, number 17 total offense in 2018, but number 92 in points per trip inside the 40. They only got 4.0 points per trip. Uh, Blake Anderson, obviously, well wishes, prayers, everything to his family, his wife going through uh, cancer treatments and whatnot. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of news on that. Have you heard anything about no, that? No, but I don't. I don't think we're going to. I no, mean, they, they're trying to keep. That, yeah, we're going to let them have privacy, and and I, I agree with that. The school and the media and people around that are, and that's right. That's, that's right, the man. right thing to do. I don't need to know that. Uh, quarterback Logan Bonner replaces Sunbelt Player of the Year Justin Hansen for new offensive coordinator Keith Hackendorf. Uh, he's the former North Carolina quarterbacks coach under Larry Fedora. That's right. Which, that makes all the sense in the world for him to come in and work in this offense. They lose the Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, let's see. Ron, he- Ron Heen Bingham? Ron, yeah. I think that's right. Ron Heen? I think that's R-O-N-H-E-E-N. Yeah. Ron Heen. Uh, but the D-line should be the best in the conference. Still. I was just about to say, I think the defense is still going to be really good. Yeah, defense still. And, and it's not that they were great last year, but the D-line, fantastic. They're replacing their offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, the conference player of the year, the conference defensive player of the year. But talent, stability, schedule should make them a contender this year. I like this team still. I know that they've got a lot yeah. of parts that have been – Moved around, missing, not here from last year. They were eight and five. You kind but, of think that they would fall backwards. I, I this is don't. year six. There is stability here. I, I yes, yeah. yeah. I kind of like this team. Now I'm a little biased. I mean, I worked in Jonesboro for a long time. I know a lot of people there. I've been around that campus for a while. I I, I like this team, but I've always liked this team. I, I will tell you this: the schedule sets up brilliantly. Well, yeah, they do have brilliant the the sweetest schedule. Out of everybody in this conference, all their tough games are at home. Just about that are in conference. I mean, if if they if they can beat SMU at home in week one, correct? Which that is which no is massive. Easy task. I was shocked to see that was not in Dallas. And so, well, I think they they already went to Dallas, didn't they? Or they're going next year? One of the other. It was a, it was a trade off. Yeah, I didn't realize it was home and home. But if and I've got them losing that game. But if they win that game, they could get to nine or ten wins pretty easily. That's right. um, they play SMU, then they've got at UNLV. I think they win that one. Everybody in the free world thinks they're going to lose at Georgia in week three. Well, correct. Uh, Southern Illinois at home. Then at Troy, you've got Troy early. and yeah, That's right. With the new coaching staff, you don't know what that's going to be like. You get at Georgia State, which should be able to win that game. Then you got a bye week. And then you've got Louisiana coming in. So you get two weeks to prepare for one of the toughest teams on the conference. Yes. On, on the schedule. And then you got Texas State. At Louisiana Monroe, and I've got them losing at ULM. Then you got a bye week before you have to finish out with Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern, and at South Alabama. Now I think they lose to Georgia Southern and win too. the other two. I've got them at eight and four this year. I have them at eight and four as well. I don't think they take a step backwards at all. No, I, I don't think so. I think I, uh, I like this, and I actually think some of the personal stuff coaches are going through and all this stuff you know the head coach he was also going through it last year that's right this is not going away but there's some man we're gonna we're gonna be here for our coach yeah and that's not going away either that's not something that you just ever stop fighting for those people so so i I think it it is so important the way that schedules set up oh i completely agree. and this one for arkansas state i've got them six and two in the conference i've actually uh let's see i've actually got them winning that division so and they, I don't think they've won the Sun Belt West. Uh, I haven't won in the division as well in in a while. Like I, they really should have won it last year. And I have them. I have them with the best overall record in that division, not just winning it. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm the same way. Yeah, I'm the same way. So if and you want to turn it off you. now, <laughs> go ahead. You, you figured out who our division I, winner well, is. If, we, if you're one of the other teams and you you just you're already pissed off. There you go. There you go.